It's been described as the Himalayan tsunami. Days of heavy monsoon rain have swept away roads and buildings. Thousands of people are still missing. Many of them are pilgrims who travel to the foothills to worship at Hindu shrines. The Indian Army is leading rescue operations, which are focused on the holy town of Kedanath. It may be days before all the survivors are found. A total of 1,000 people have been deployed from three battalions. So 300 each from three battalions and 100 people from our uh, mountaineering school at Oli. So they have also, they have done wonderful work. They have made a rope, rope bridge, temporary rope bridge over Alaknanda. And uh, till last report, they had uh, uh, managed to rescue about 1,200 people with that rope bridge. The authorities say they fear more than 1,000 people could have been killed. Those who've managed to reach safety tell how floodwaters and landslides destroyed guest houses and bridges and how they watched people swept away in front of them. Relatives of missing pilgrims have traveled to the area to help. We don't have any news from them. We try to contact on their mobiles. The mobiles are dead. Uh, I have reached here from Mumbai on Tuesday morning to find their whereabouts. I have been various places. I wanted to hire a chopper to, uh, and fly down to the Kedarnath base camp, but it is not available at any cost right now. The state government has declared three days of mourning. For the moment, the weather's improving, helping relief efforts but it's likely to be some time before the full extent of the damage is known. Joanna Jolly, BBC News.